The 20-year-old unarmed black man shot and killed by police Sunday near Minneapolis. His name and a new call for justice is added to George Floyd Square. Here we are again, another unarmed black man killed by police. Once more, we bear witness to the emotional toll these deaths, like 20-year-old Dante Wright, have on communities and the grief felt by the families who've lost a loved one. Joining me now from Minneapolis is BNC's chief legal correspondent, Dr. Laura McNeil. Dr. Laura, you had a chance to sit down for a BNC exclusive interview with Dante Wright's aunt earlier today, where she shared with you the pain she and her family are feeling right now. Talk to us about that. Yes, um, it was a very moving interview, as you can imagine, uh, just so fresh. She just lost her nephew uh, yesterday, uh, to the tragic death at the hands of police officers here out in a suburb of Minneapolis. Um, her name was Naisha Wright. Uh, it's a BNC exclusive, again, very moving interview. Let's go ahead and take a listen. In the midst of what many call In the midst of what many call the trial of the century, that's the Derek Chauvin trial for the killing of George Floyd, the city of Minneapolis is dealing with yet another tragedy. This one occurred in the Brooklyn Center suburb of Minneapolis. 20-year-old Dante Wright was killed by a police officer during a routine traffic stop. I spoke with his aunt, Naisha Wright. She explained the sea of emotions as she learned of the shooting. I see my nephew, that was my nephew's body laying out there under a white sheet. And I just had to confirm it with everybody. <laughs> just to make sure, because this is just so unreal. Lord, I pray. I pray for peace right now. This shooting is resonating throughout the country because blacks are victims of racial profiling and often stop simply for driving while black. Based on preliminary reports, Dante was allegedly stopped by police for either an expired tag or for air fresheners that were hanging from his rearview mirrors. They still breathing. But you pull my nephew over for air fresheners and he's dead. My nephew's blood is on these people's hands. We've all come to know the names. Breonna Taylor, Philando Castile, Sandra Bland, George Floyd, and now Dante Wright. So who was Dante and how will he best be remembered? My nephew was born, I used to call him Lemon, Lemon Head. Oh. Those were my favorite candy. And I called him that because he was bald head and he only had the little hair like the little oh. Lemon Head man on the box. <sighs> And everybody, we all knew this, what everybody knew, that was my lemon, that was my lemon head. And that smile from birth. So when he just exited this earth, my nephew had the most beautiful smile about him that you can be having a bad day and he smiled at you and that smile, you just smiled right back. Wow. Um... Dr. Laura, that was incredibly sad to watch, but so endearing to hear her call Dante her lemon head. Um, g give us the backstory on how you actually landed this interview with, with Dante's aunt. Yeah, so actually, um, once we heard about the tragic killing of uh, Dante Wright, our field producer, uh, Olivia Laborde, and I got on it. Uh, she actually stayed up all night um, reaching out to various family members trying to find someone um, that was able to talk to us about the tragedy and how this impacted their family. And um, his aunt responded uh, to our inquiries and she said she wanted the world to know her nephew. She wanted the world to know what an amazing young man he was and how a tremendous loss this was going to be for their family. And so we're honored that she entrusted BNC uh, with that ex exclusive interview because, you know, we want it to be a voice for her. And that's what we tried to achieve uh, in conducting that interview. Be a voice for the family, a voice for members of our black community. Well, you certainly gave her a voice here on this platform. Thank you so very much. BNC Chief Legal Correspondent Dr. Laura McNeil, thank you.